Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and congratulations and best wishes to all of you on the 75th anniversary of our independence. The subject today is also of great vital national importance. So please join me. Government of India recently concluded the 5G auctions which is fetching the government 1.49 lakh crores. Fantastic. So we are going to be migrating from 3G to 4G and 4G to 5G, all great in terms of software. How about the hardware? A decade ago, Indian entities, and to name just four, Micromax, Intex, Lava, Carbon, and so on, enjoyed anything between 35 to 40 percent market share. Today, that number is down to less than 2 percent. Thanks to the Chinese invasion, Oppo, Viva, Realme, Xiaomi, and so on, who have a 70% market share and in the low cost mobile bracket, namely anything which is below 12,000. Their share is as much as 80%. And it's not because Indian units or Indian equipments have a malfunction or do not provide what the Chinese do. It's because very, very aggressive cartelling and cash support from China. And additionally, the entire value chain and distribution network is manned by only Chinese nationals. My question is, why give this kind of extra special treatment to the Chinese products when it's not the case with either Apple or Samsung. It's for the government of India to think about it and take necessary actions. Surely no Indian would want to see an East India Company moment now at a time when India is a robust democracy, it's one of the world's most mature and wise nations. And it has displayed this tenacity time and again, be it finance, economics, politics, or even handling the enemy across the border. So it's for the government to do some soul searching and find solutions. What can the government do? Let's try and list out. One, do not allow the Chinese any extra indulgence, something which we don't offer to Apple or Samsung. Two, insist on having Indians in the top, middle, and bottom of the entire value chain and distribution system. Three, cash support out of this 5G bonanza for the purpose of protecting and nurturing Indian hardware entities, be it the four I named 
or it could be any new ones. But by the end of a decade, we should have Indian companies having 80% market share and not otherwise. And three, active equity participation by the government of India. Only when there is government financial support, when there is government investment participation, you will have public and private investments coming forward, right? The government can buy equity stake in those entities and then wait for those companies to become profitable, hand-holding them and helping them so that they become mature companies and when they start generating profits, they can enjoy the dividends or resort to a stake sale. It's now or never in a year when we are all so proudly celebrating our democracy. Thank you.